close by what is going on everyone and welcome to another Sea of Thieves Pirate Life Guide. In today's video we're going to be breaking down how to 100% complete Captains of the Damned. It is the third tool tale in the new Disney A Pirate's Life crossover. Now this one is the easiest tool tale to do, but since the map is so big that you're going to be in, it's hard to find some of these locations. I'm going to try and make it as simple as I can for you in this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. As always, first of all, you're going to want to go to the mysterious castaway tent in your outpost. Once you were there, start up the third tool tale and listen to the dialogue the castaway gives you. After the end of the dialogue, you will notice Gibbs is going to give you Captain Jack's compass. You will need to collect that to continue this tool tale. After collecting Captain Jack's compass, what you need to do is head on over to the nearest portal, depending on where you are on your outpost. Head on through the portal, watch the transitional cutscene that you always get, but once you make it into the new world, what you need to do is follow the path I take in this video and bring your boat to the shack towards the end of this area. This is a very tight fit if you're in a galleon, but I promise you it is sailable. Don't even think about swimming it or taking a rowboat as you will need to use the boat very, very soon. Now, there's a few things we need to do in this area, so do not progress until you get the light for your lantern. So you can take the path I show here or follow Jack's compass. All you need to do is take a right from your boat, follow the light up pathway that happens, go into the boat, then go to the two skeletons hanging out by the table and activate the lantern there. We are now going to make our way back to the shack and turn on the lights. Then we're going to be looking for the journals in this area. So once you are back at the shack, light the flames out front of the door, then turn around and light the candles on the lost souls that you see behind you. At this point, I'd recommend hanging out as you do have some important story parts that happen here. Again, I'm going to skip them from the video to avoid spoilers. But then once that's done, we're going to go look for the journals. So let's get into that. First of all, head north from your boat by the shack. You'll need to make your way onto a little shack that's looking over the water. You'll notice there is a rocking chair there and a little light you can put the flame to. Once you do that, there's going to be a banjo and a book that spawns. Read that book and make your way again to the northeast until you find a hanging skeleton by a thread of rope. At that point, you're going to need to shoot and destroy that skeleton's rope so it drops down into the water. After that, work your way around behind the water itself, climb up the rocks and light the lantern there. From that point on, you notice the candles are going to light and if you go down into the depths where the skeleton is, there is a second journal for you to read. After that, there's one more journal you need in this area. Head to the south by southwest area of that journal there. Make your way into the woods until you find a shack that needs to have a lit light there. Once you have done that, follow the flames that light their way up until you get into the water. Dive down to the depths, look for the rowboat, and grab that lantern sitting on the sunken rowboat. Make your way back to the boat as it is time to move on to the next area. Once you have sailed over to the fort, you're going to need to light the light that the skeleton is holding on the dock. Make your way into the fort, and once the doors open, you'll need to be looking for two more journals. So, first of all, light all the lights around the well in the middle. Once the door opens, you're going to need to drop down onto the second level and light the lantern in that skeleton's hand. Once that is done, you're going to notice a journal will appear across the other side of the well. Go down into the depths to the chain skeleton, grab the lockpick, and take this exit out. Unlock the door towards the side of the castle, then go straight forward and unlock the door to progress the story. When you unlock that door, you can go back and light the second light that is needed to get the final journal for this section of the tool tale. Grab the ladder, over the bridge, break the rope, and go across to the other side where the jail cell is sitting. Go in through the roof and you're going to notice that the fifth and final journal is there, ready for you to take. Once that is done, go up to the top of the fort, light the brazes over in the distance, and progress with the story. After the brazes are lit, you're going to need to fight the ambush on the fort down on the beachfront. Get down to the bottom and take on the waves of phantoms that come and attack you. Now you need to sail away from the fort to the new area of this tool tale. There's a lot of things we need to do here, but don't worry, we're almost done. We're around three quarters of the way through the tool tale now. It's almost over. What you'll need to do now is make your way into the town where you see Barbosa's ship fighting the city. Follow the path I take, jump on the cannon and fire back at Captain Barbosa. That will give you the commendation returning fire. Now, follow the path I take in the video as it's going to unlock a bunch of different things as well as give you some journal locations. Slow down the video here, follow the exact same path, chase Jack Sparrow through the town, go up, grab all three of the journals you can from this location, open the building, and then come down to the rowboat right here, and you'll need to follow the path that the ghost rowboat takes you to. This will unlock another commendation too. After the treasure is placed into the hands of the skeleton, you'll need to continue through the canal, get back onto the main part of the city, and progress to continue the story. You're going to need to do a small parkour course. It's not too hard. If you do need help, watch the video in the background as your best guide you can have. Then you'll be going on to get the rest of this tall tale finished up, and you'll be right near the end. 
Take the parkour course I show in this video, make your way inside and follow Captain Jack Sparrow until you get to the pirates stuck inside of the jail cell. Don't progress on, turn around, go up the wooden ramp here, grab the key, then dip down behind and unlock them to complete this part of the tool tale. Make your way to the jump parkour area and you will find the fourth journal of this tool tale here. Follow through the story, grab the key from the well, meet Jack Sparrow, push your way to the other side, and when you make it through, jump onto the first building, and you will find the final journal for this tall tale sitting right here. At this point, all you need to do is finish out the story of the tall tale, and then you are done, but this can be a bit tricky. So what you need to do is fight your way through the town, follow the path shown in this video, and get ready to take down some phantoms. You do have two separate waves of phantoms you're going to need to fight. The first wave will be after you drop down from a ledge. There are a couple barrels you can get food from in there. Don't worry too much if you die as you're going to just respawn in the same spot where you died instantly. First of all, take down the waves of phantoms that spawn. Progress your way through that first area up until you get up the ladders and drop down into the second ledged fighting area. This one is a little bit harder and you will be fighting Black Dog again. This will be the final fight of the Tool Tale with Black Dog, and it will also be the end of this area of the Tool Tale too. Now what you need to do is take your boat through the lit pathway that you see. This will be a fair bit of sailing, and you will have an interactable scene with Jack Sparrow coming up here. At the end of this though, you're going to find your way into a bar and a tavern, where you'll be able to finish off this Tool Tale and complete number three of five. Continue the sail forward until you get to the tavern that'll be on the left side of your boat. Turn into the tavern and you'll notice a few old familiar faces there if you are a fan of the Sea of Thieves lore, and also if you remember some of the previous tool tales. This is a very pivotal point for the crossing of worlds between Pirates of the Caribbean and Sea of Thieves, so I'm not going to show it on the video here, but I honestly recommend you guys need to sit down and listen to what is being said as this is the coolest part of the entire series in my opinion. Once you have gone through this cutscene give Jack Sparrow his compass and what you'll need to do is sail your way back into the main world. Once you've made it to the main world though honestly it's not the end of the tool tale you need to stick around for a little bit so don't instantly leave the server otherwise you will be hit with a final checkpoint and you will not 100% complete this tool tale. I made the mistake of doing this the first time and leaving early and I found out that I didn't finish the tool tale so I had to go back and redo the final part of this tool tale one more time. And with that being said that is the entire guide for tool tale 3 of the a Pirate's Life series. I do stream every day over on Twitch if you are interested. Feel free to check me out there. And I also have every single tool tale guide on my channel. So if you want to see them, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Good luck, everyone. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. I'll see you all real, real soon. Goodbye for now and safe sales.